I'm excited tonight, y'all. I think I say that every single time I get on this thing because I am for the most part. But today, I am probably more excited than I've ever been to be uh, on a Zoom call, at least in 2021. And so you should be excited too. Uh, I promise you, you don't want to miss anything that we're going to talk about tonight. Uh, I will say that I had Kimmy come on and talk about the, G first of all, can you see me and hear me clearly? Just give me some, because it's yeah. a little yes. wacky. All right, cool. Um, I had her come on and talk about the G5, because I'll be honest, I, I got a little pissed off, y'all, man. Like I, I was a little bothered uh, by the fact that we didn't have more people g 5 in. And I'm the type of person to look at what is and then look for a solution. Look for not what is happening, but why is it happening, right? And, you know, it was it was dropped in my spirit to, to really, you know, reiterate what G5 is and how it works and what the benefits of going G5 is. I can't believe we had like three or four people. Um, I'm hoping that they were just new, but three or four people, you know, when Kimmy start talking about it, they're like, well, what is G5? And that bothers me as, as one of the leaders here. That that bothers me as a visionary to where we have people that they really just don't know. And so that gets me excited to, to really announce everything that we have in store over the next six weeks to really, really make sure that anybody, anybody and everybody that really wants this thing to work for them, you're going to have everything that you need to make it work for you. And I promise you that. Um, and so... <laughs> we have our first, uh, well, not really our first, but we have an official Vibes uh, weekend plan. And this is going to be excited, y'all. I want y'all to drop some fires, drop some emojis, because in California, July 16th and 17th, myself, along with a few of your leaders, will be pouring out and pouring into you guys for about six hours hours you hear me for about six hours we have people from other industries people from this industry people inside the company that are going to be coming and speaking you do not you do not you do not want to miss this event because i'm going to tell you something about events events are the reason why your coach is here right now I tell you, events literally changed my life. When things were going wrong, when people were quitting, when I was having a hard time with my upline, a hard time with my downline, I wasn't able to recruit. I just needed to believe again, right? Sometimes, you know, that happens. You know, I know some people on this call have even gotten discouraged and you don't know what to do. You just know that you need to just keep showing up to these calls. So salute to you because that was me. I was that person. I just had enough sense to say, hey, listen, it ain't working for me like it's working for my sponsor. It's not working for me like it's working for the people on the stage. But if I stay close enough, long enough, it's going to have to work for me. And i tell you something events events can 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 really put about a six to 12 month curve on your business and not going to events can can really kill the momentum it could kill your morale inside of your team kill your spirit i'll tell you something this event this event is designed to give you all the tools that i believe that we believe that you need to go to the next level. And I realized that the key to this industry, the key to the success of this industry is being able to stay hot long enough, right? Not that you're at the top of the leaderboard, not that you're making the most money, but to stay close enough to the fire long enough to catch on fire. Somebody's going to catch that. See, some of you guys are too far away from the fire to actually catch on fire. And that's why you're not going anywhere, right? And so I don't know about you guys, but I know a lot of my success had to do with me staying close enough. And man, when that spark hit, man, when that person said that one thing, man, when that person picked up the phone in 2000, 14 and said hey drake because i know you exist hey drake because i know what you've done hey drake because i know that we've been friends at the time for about four years prior to joining tlc i have an opportunity for you but if i was not close to the fire if i was not in in proximity i never would have got that call somebody please mute out the phone all right and so i want you to understand it's not about you know going to these events and it's not necessarily that every single thing that we talk about is going to be new it's not about that. It's about sometimes you have to hear it over and over and over and over again. And you need to be able to hear it from different perspectives and different examples. Hey, listen, yes, I'm, I'm a leader here, right? Yes, you know, I made the most money on this call. Absolutely. But uh, it may be uh, uh, Ezekiel that can break something down that I made complicated. 
it may take Kimmy to break down G5 because I think on the opposite side of my brain and I'm end up confusing y'all talking about G5, right? So <clears throat> understand these events can change your entire trajectory of your business. And I realize there's a few people, there's a few different types of people when it comes to events, right? There's, there's really like four types of people that exists when it comes down to attending and promoting events, right? And the first, it's, it's so funny, you know, shout out to Brittany because Brittany is the one that actually sent me a video that is so funny that I, right when she sent it to me, I'm like, yo, I know this already. Like, this is the stuff I know, I've seen this already. And sometimes, you know, you get comfortable. Sometimes you hear stuff so much that you, <laughs> you almost forget it because you think that it's it's just it's just there and you don't have to remind yourself it's kind of like taking a shower on monday and thinking that's going to last you until the next monday right you have to continuously do the thing right and so the first type of person when coach drake says hey listen we got an event make sure that you're at this event make sure you're at the awakening make sure you're at girl hold my hand make sure you're at tlc in orlando make sure damn show make sure you're at the vibes event there's four different types of people. The first person says, I'm too cool for that. The first person says, you know what? I'm cool. I got it. I'll just follow y'all on live. I'll just build my business when I want to build it. I'll come around when I want to come around. And, you know, really that is a dangerous place to be in because once upon a time, I was, I was that person for a very short amount of time. I didn't show up at events. Ah, I don't want to pay the $10. Ah, they're going to say the same 40 jokes as they said last time. Ah, I don't want to go on the training because they talk about the same things. You know, I was that person. So I can speak from a place of really understanding uh, uh, the person that doesn't feel like they need an event. But here's the thing. You cannot participate. You cannot be in the NBA and decide that you're not going to practice. No matter how many times, you know, you, you've seen a video with Allen Iverson talking about practice. Listen, yes, practice is important. Going to these events are important. No matter if you uh, understand it right now in your career or if you, you do understand it, but you just don't want to do it. I'm telling you something. As your coach, events are the lifeblood of your business. I don't care if you feel like going. I don't care if you've heard it before. I don't care if you like the leaders that, that are speaking. I don't care. At the end of the day, you're going to the gas station to get refilled. It doesn't matter if you like the gas station. It doesn't matter who's pumping your gas if you're in Jersey, because you know when you're in Jersey, uh, <laughs> they pump your gas for you. It doesn't matter, right? You go to the gas station to get what you need so you can continue moving forward in your business. So that first person is too cool. The second person is the secret agent. This is so funny to me. The second person is the secret agent. I'm a go, Stella, but I'm not gonna tell you about it. I'm a go. I'm just gonna take my little notebook. I'm gonna try to just go back to my team and tell them what I've learned. I'm not gonna really post it. You know, I'm not gonna really post it online because I don't know what people are gonna think about me. I know coach asked me to share it, but I'm not, I'm just gonna go, right? And I'm gonna sit in the back and I'm gonna take my little notes. Okay, okay. But the thing about that is this, those people make very little to, to no money, right? You going in as a secret agent does nothing for you. It gives you no leverage. It, 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 it's, it's kind of like going to a restaurant and imagine, imagine that you taste, I don't know, steak for the first time. And instead of inviting your friend to taste the steak with you, you sit there and try to explain for an hour how steak tastes. You're not going to be able to communicate that right. So don't be that secret agent, right, that's there to gather all the information. You're like, I'm going to gather everything and I'm going to go home and I'm going to try to apply this. Like, I was that person too. I was that person. This is how I know. Before I, I was like the secret agent inside of network marketing, I was like, you know, my parents were thinking it was a scam. My friends didn't think it was cool. All my friends are in college. Here I was talking about one day I'm gonna be a millionaire. I'm, I'm attending meetings in the back. Like I was that person. I understand. I understand. But being a master promoter like a Don King, being a master promotion, a promoter like Mayweather Promotions, right? Being a master promoter is what's going to pay you 
in this industry. Forget the neutral burst, forget the NRG, forget all the other stuff. Mastering promotions, being excited is what's going to get you paid, right? The third person is the one that says, oh man, I'm in alignment. Let me just make an announcement. Let me just post it on my story. Let me send it to one or two people in my downline, right? This is the person that just announces it passively. By the way, this is what I'm doing. If you want to come, cool, no big deal. That person may make a couple of dollars. They may get to two, three hundred dollars a week, five hundred dollars a week. You know, that's cool if that's what you want. But think about the people that make the most money in this industry. Think about the people that make the most money in TLC. If they have an event going on. We see it down their timeline back to back to back to back. It's in their stories. Other people are posting it. They're resharing the people that are posting it. They are doing videos about it. They're doing lives about it, right? Because you can't, being an announcer is not enough. So when you think about this event that's coming up, when you think about the Vibes Weekend that's happening, I promise you, you don't want to leave that event excited on and on fire and you're the only person inside of your organization that attended that event. You never want to attend an event that Stormy is putting on and you attend by yourself and you're on fire and you're excited and you wonder why your business is not growing. Well, because you created no leverage. You created no leverage. You're there by yourself. I'd rather get paid off of 1% of 100 people's efforts than 100% of my own. So instead of me just being on fire, I'd rather go and have 200 people, 300 people, 500 people at an event so we all leave on fire. We all leave getting binary qualified in 24 hours. We all leave aiming for director in the next two weeks. The, first, the fourth person is, is me. <laughs> the fourth person is some of you guys. The fourth person is the promoter. The person that everything that they do is an event. It ain't passive, it's in your face, it's everywhere you turn. This is the master promoter. And if you don't learn nothing else about what I'm saying today, D Rivers, what I'm saying is this, the secret to this business is being a master promoter. I said it before, but I really want the people on this call to understand what I'm saying. When I go and I have something going on, like let's just, let's just, let's just think about the effort that goes into a live, if I go live. Some of you guys are perplexed on how I barely go live and I'll have three, four, five, six hundred, a thousand people on my live. Some of y'all still trying to figure this shit out. I get it, I know you are, because I don't go live often. But that's because I'm a freaking promoter. And guess what? I have a text blast where over 3,000 people gets the text when I'm about to go live. Guess what? I have an email list with thousands of people. And when I want to get the attention of the people, I know how to get them. I know how to get their attention, right? If I'm doing an event, I got a birthday that's coming up. I, I, I don't even want to go too deep into the next day of the weekend, right? But I got the birthday bash that's happening the second day of the training. So first day is going to be training. The second day is going to be the birthday bash. I'm going to be promoting. I'm going to have B and A-list uh, 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 performers that are going to be pulling up, right? I am planning this thing out. I have seven weeks to put together the most incredible star-studded weekend. And guess what? Do you think I'm just going to post it one time? Do you think I'm going to say, all right, hey, y'all should come to my event. See you in seven weeks. No. Every time you turn around, you're going to be hearing about this event, Vibes event. Even if you don't go there, you will, even if you don't show up, you're going to go to sleep thinking about the event. Either you're going to go to sleep thinking about it because you're up there in your hotel room and you're excited, or you're going to be at home scrolling on Instagram like, damn. I knew I should have went. Either way, it's fine. It's your business. It's your life, right? But understand, I am not passive in my business. Am I the best promoter? Am I the most incredible to ever live? No, that's why I'm not at a million a month. But guess what? I'm activated now. Guess what? I'm in my whole new bag. Hey, y'all remember, listen, I'm going to tell you something. When I get into this space, when I get it, see, this is the thing. I'm not always the, I mean, y'all, and we family, so y'all already know this, right? I'm not always the most consistent. Like, I go hard for like six months, and then I'll be like, 
in Jamaica or something, right? And then I'll go hard again and, and build the moment and then I'll chill out. And I'm not encouraging you to do that. You do whatever feels right in your energy and your space for what you have going on. Some people I'm inspired. Like, I don't know how Stormy is a freaking robot. I don't know how she does it. She's just, oh, go and go and go and go. And hey, here's the thing. I'm inspired by that. Maybe one day I'll be able to do that. But what I do is I win because I charge up, right? And I go. The next six months, I want y'all to pay close attention. Pay close attention to what's about to happen because of me leading by example, me transforming, me promoting, and me bringing in new people. I said it was going to happen in 2014, and it happened. I said it was going to happen in 2018, and it happened. And I said it was going to happen when I came back in 2019, and it happened. There's another shift that's happening right now, and I want you to be on the benefiting side of that. See, when these type of shifts happen, this is this is all that really happens. People leave the business. You look to the left, look to the right. This person's doing that. This person's doing that. This person's selling body shapers. This person's selling houses. It happens. And then you have the new people that come in, new faces, they're green, they don't know what they're like, oh yeah, TLC, oh, it's so great. And they're ranking up and they're going. And then the people that stuck and stayed, the people that were showing up, even though they weren't making a whole bunch of money, the people that were serving, the people that were just in the, in the way of money, the new wave of people promotes. That's all that happens. It's purging, it's new people, and it's promotion. Purging, new people, promotion. The same shit happens. I'm like, it's, it's kind of funny for 10 years. I've watched the same thing happen. And then we look back and then we share the stories of like how this person was in the business for three years and four years and five years and 12 months and 24 months and they never could make X amount. And now all of a sudden they're making X amount. And everybody's like, oh my God, all the new people's like, how did it happen? How did the Bianca happen? How did the LaQuell happen? How did the Kimmy, how did all this happen? Purging, new people, promotion. That's it. And it's amazing if we move all as a team, but guess what? It's gonna happen regardless. But I get excited because when I start thinking about, when I start thinking about, the phases, and I probably should write a book on this. When I start thinking about the phases of network marketing, it is so funny that it is exactly what I, you know what, I bet not see nobody post this because I just really accidentally said this and I think it's really, really dope. I'm gonna do a training on that. So don't nobody steal that yet. That, that, that's actually pretty good. All right, moving on, moving on. This weekend, the entire you know, the location, all of that is going to be provided, right? We're going to have a link. When we get off of this call, uh, I'm assuming that Kwanda already has this link done. And you guys are going to be able to pre-register. I At this point in time, I just want to see who is interested in attending this event. And then I will open it to the public. Now, obviously, if this event is open to the public, it's gonna fill up really, 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 really fast. But I'm not interested in any other organization at this point in time, more than I'm interested in this organization. So the people that pre-register today will have the first opportunity to not only buy tickets for themselves, hello somebody, not only buy tickets for themselves, but buy tickets for the organization that they want to build. See, every time I go to an event, I buy the tickets for my next globals, my next nationals, my next regionals. Who do I have in my organization that I know if they just got it, if it just clicked, if they just spoke to one person, if they just understood this one thing, and maybe I'm not saying it right, and I buy a ticket for them and they shoot to the next level. This is the mindset that I have. You don't build for where you are, you build for where you wanna go. And so you're gonna have the opportunity to purchase tickets for yourself, tickets for your organization, right? We're going to have food. Uh, like I said, it's going to be like a five to six hour event. And then day two, and then day two is going to be our, uh, oh no, oh, I almost forgot. Thank you so much for the text. Recognition. Oh, I don't know how I forgot that. The recognition piece, guys, listen, some of you guys have went you know, rising star, 
uh, director, executive director, regional director, national director, global director. Some of you guys have really been cranking. Just in the California market alone, we brought in over a hundred directors just in California. Just in California, over a hundred directors. Okay, so watch this. So watch this, we're gonna be having a celebration recognition, right? We gonna be giving out some jury. We gonna be giving out some, I don't have to talk about this yet. We gonna be giving out jury. We gonna be giving out jackets. We gonna be giving out t-shirts. We gonna have money machines. Listen, man, I, I can't even, I can't even explain it. Just, just get there, just get, I mean, it's, it's probably gonna be the best event that TLC has ever put on and TLC not put it on. I'm gonna keep it way 100 with you because I'm putting everything into it. All my money, all my resources, all my connections. I'm picking up the phone. If you like my picture and you verify, you're coming to my event. If you're a celebrity, you're coming to my birthday. I'm not playing. Like it's going up. I promise you guys, you're gonna be sitting there like, what the hell? I didn't even know Drake knew these people. That's right. Cause I'd be chilling, but I really be in my bag and it's really about me turned up. More importantly, most importantly, qualify qualify because I'm going to save that one. Qualify. If you re-qualify or get promoted between today and the event, there's a surprise. And I'll just leave it at that, right? And so, yeah, so second day, y'all, we don't know the attire yet. I was thinking all white, and then I was thinking like all black, and then I'm like, wear what the hell you want to wear. But then I'm like, no. so I'll let y'all know closer to the day <laughs> oh, exactly what the attire is going to be, y'all. But just know it's going to be a vibe. It's going to be us. You hear me? It's going to be our family, our team. We're going to be vibing. I feel like we got cheated. We got cheated when Corona hit now. We got cheated. Like, we was turning. We brought in 10,000 people in less than, like, seven months. And then we was like, we couldn't go nowhere. And now, because California is so behind right california is so behind i had to do it in cali i know i, I could have done it in atlanta right um those are the two biggest markets but i said cali i said you know nothing is shaking in cali and it's nobody's fault it's not jack's fault it's not my fault it's cali's fault y'all didn't talk to the governor or something but i i got a little birdie told me y'all gonna be opening up and so we out there Right, we out there. We're gonna have some of the leaders inside of inside of uh, one thousand families. I, I didn't, um, I, I, I haven't spoken to everybody about it. Select leaders that I would like to come. Um, I'm gonna extend the invite to them, and uh, yeah. And so I'm just excited because um, I was cheated out of my birthday last year. We were cheated out of a celebration event last year, and I'm excited that we are all gonna be able to be together. California is just the place. California. Don't, I know some people are just like, well, what about Jersey? What about Ohio? What about Atlanta? What about Texas? I know I got you all everywhere. I know. But Cali, number one, born and raised. Number two, I love California. And I know most of you guys that are not in California, who does not want to go to Cali? Come on, man. I know y'all do. So moving on, because I could get really excited. I feel like I'm just like on a FaceTime with one person. And I'm just blabbing. Not, I, I'm losing sight of like 200 people being on here. So let me keep it moving. What else do I want to talk about? Um, the pricing and all that, once you pre-register, all that will be sent to you. Once you pre-register, right, all of that will be sent to you. What's going to happen is you're going to pre-register today, right? No purchase necessary. Just how many people you think you're going to have at the event, how many tickets you're interested in, we'll follow up with you. So at some point this weekend, we're going to send a secret code right it won't be blasted on the internet yet you guys will get it like some of you guys get my text messages etc cetera, etc cetera. you guys will get that at that point you can uh it'll be secret right for we'll do 48 to 72 hours where you guys can get you know get your money together all of that get your team uh to commit to it all of that and then i will open it up uh to everybody i got good work today that we actually are going to be able to fit around 300 people, which is uh, which is a pretty big deal because I know just our organization alone will probably sell 200 tickets within the first five days. Uh, just being realistic, 
And then there's going to be about another 100 people in the California market that are going to want to be a part of the vibes. And I know y'all know that because, I mean, we the best. What you mean? We the West. Oh, oh, oh. All right. So moving on. Now let's get a little bit more serious. And I should have talked about this first because I, I, I don't want to end on, you know, a... Uh, sometimes you just, we, we just, sometimes we need to be reset, right? And as I'm listening, I don't think many of you know, um, you know, uh, the responsibility of someone in my position, right? Like I may be talking to Janet and then I may be talking to Oscar and then I may be talking to Alicia and then this person pissed off Kimmy and then Tiana's dealing with this and then this person had a death in their family and then this person is going through a divorce and then this person's downline left and guess who gets all of that? Me, I get it. Y'all don't know that because, because it, it, I don't throw up on my downline. So you guys will never know these things, but understand that I'm doing this, a million, a million things going on, right? A million fires that I put out every single day, all right? And I've even had issues, right? Here's the thing. I've been in this industry roughly 10 years, right? I've been in TLC almost seven. I've had people um, say that they were going to come in and totally kill it and never did nothing. I've had people join me and do extremely well underneath my leadership. I've had people that would have came in and done well with or without me. I've had people that have gossiped and badmouthed me and turned around and asked me for a favor. I've had people to leave thinking that the grass was greener on the other side and it wasn't. I've had people lie. I've had all these things happen. Why do I bring it up? I don't bring it up to, to, to be negative. I bring it up to let you know, hello, you guys are not the only ones that are dealing with issues. It's not what's happening to you. It's how you deal with what is happening. And I felt that this was the perfect time because I got a four week training. Like this was just to set the tone, but I want to talk about this right now because I don't want none of this energy as we get closer to the event. So I'm just going, because I don't know what the hell it's like two, two energies right now. And I think these are the purgers, ones that's already on their way out. So instead of going and talking to each one individually, I'm going to say this. And I was shopping today and I got excited because I posted this morning talking about basically, you know, emotional intelligence and being better together. I cannot make this up. This is how the universe is always on my side. I go in to Nike, look at my shirt. I don't know if it's backwards. What does it say? Type it. I want all 200 of y'all to type, type. And I know we got a couple people on the phone. Just, just yell it out. The people that are tuning in from the phone, just yell it out. Better, Better together. together. Better together. Oh, but this person did that. Are you better together or apart? That is the message uh, for today. Now, here's the thing. As you guys always hear me say, it's about the product. It is about the people. How do people feel the majority of the time when they interact with you? Are you that coach that every time they bring something to you, you knock the ideal down because it's not what you created? Are you that type of coach that you, you don't want nothing happening unless you're the creator of it? Are you the coach that, 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 that only recognizes your team when they're doing bad? Are you the downline? Are you the, the, uh, the mentee that wants all of your coaches' time and then when they go and look at your back office, you're not even active? Some of y'all want strategy calls with Derek, and y'all not even binary. You guys are not even getting on G5, but you want this man's time. Some of y'all, y'all got the nerve to ask me to get on a training and be having three people on a training. Now, I would never try to kill the, 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 your, your energy and be like, no, what the hell I look like? I got a million things going on. Like, no, I'm a professional, right? But think about the position that you're putting your upline in, putting your downline, I hate to use those words, but I don't feel like thinking of better words to use. When you act this way, 
when looking at your upline, I don't care if you, I really, really don't care if the majority of you all like me. If I cared about that, you guys would drive me crazy. I would be back on prescription medicine and I would be on an island somewhere because I have a lot of money. I could just retire. I cannot get caught up on who likes me because it's all a season. It goes like this. Oh, I love Drake. I hate him. I love him. I hate him. I love Stormy. I don't like her. I don't like the way she does this. I don't like the way this happens, right? It's okay. And I don't know most of you all love me. About 99% of y'all, I love y'all back. But listen as a teacher. So that way, when you go off and you do your own trainings, you can recommunicate this. Now, when I'm looking at a situation, and Kimmy, I'm going to just use you as an example. This is not a real life example, y'all. I'm just using this as an example. Kimmy comes to me and she's like, man, I got this person in my downline. She doesn't listen. She's hard to work with. She ignores my text messages. I, I, I just, I don't understand, coach. I don't know how to deal with this person. I'm going to just block her. I'm going to just send her subliminal messages on Instagram. I'm going to just, I'm going to just talk negative to her about her down. I'm going to talk negative to her downline about her. I'm going to go to her. Uh, uh, I'm going to go to my upline. I'm going to go to Stormy and talk negative, you know, to Stormy about my downline. This is the one thing I want to come to your mind. Is this person really valuable in your life? Forget what they're doing in that moment, in that season. This could be their growing season. Is someone like a Kimmy valuable in your business? Yes, I know she got smart mouth. Yes, I know this, I know that. But listen, this is business. Is this person more valuable here or away? The person that's giving you a headache, Lederic, is this person better here or away? Do you want to see them promoting another business or are you going to operate with emotional intelligence and figure out how you can be solution oriented so that we can put some numbers on the board. The second, the third thing is this, is it really that deep? Is it really that deep? Like for real, for real. Like, 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 is it like, man, I'm about to have to pull up on them like tough. <laughs> or is it you got your little ego hurt? Or is it whatever? The ego has caused people's check to go back more than anything else. The ego. So I always ask myself, are we better together or apart? The last thing is the attitude that you have after the thing happens. I can't lie. Right. I can't lie to you. There are things that are happening even now in my business. Right. Outside of my business, my personal life, my business life. And I have to think to myself, is my attitude towards what's happening getting me closer? To my goal or further away. Oh, but he did this and she did that and this happened. And I don't like this. And this person. OK. But a million a month says. But a hundred million dollars says to operate with emotional intelligence. Now, sometimes, you know, I may have to cuss some people out and just pray about it after. I get it. But you want to limit that. You want to go too crazy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, like seriously, right? And I want y'all to, like, here's the thing. When you start thinking about it, like some of you guys are letting whole organizations lead. Do you understand at the top of our organization, we were doing over $300,000 a week in sales in volume. So, you know, the sales and the volume is different. So we're really probably doing about, probably doing about half a million a week in sales. Do you understand that? Those people didn't die, y'all. Those people didn't move to, to, to Mars. They still exist. They're still there. But because you and your ego, please mute your phone, because you and the ego or whatever didn't reach back out to them, now you've lost them to this opportunity or that opportunity or whatever when it could have been solved with a simple 
with a simple phone call. With a simple, I'm sorry. With a, with a, with a, um, with a simple, I'm sorry. Did I, I mean, listen, did I do something to offend you? Because I believe most of the time, most people are good people. Most people are good. They don't, they don't mean, they don't mean to do the thing. Some people do. Some people just ignorant, right? But for the most part, I believe that most people just don't know what they don't know. That's why I said, Lord, forgive them for they know not what they do. And this can be applied in a lot of areas of your life, but I'm not a relationship coach. So I'm gonna move on from that, right? <laughs> but sometimes it's easy to get just communication, right? And then there are some people that you do need to move on from. Some people you like, you know what? Hey, listen, maybe you're right. Maybe TLC is not for you, right? Maybe you wanna still be a customer. Thank you so much. But we just cannot work together. Appreciate you, right? But over the next seven weeks, I want you to think about what relationships you commend. Now, don't spend a whole bunch of million dollar time on penny projects now. But who in your organization at the top, at the height of everything was shaking and moving? At the height of everything was bringing the energy that you needed. At the height of everything was, was, was your right hand man or the right hand man to somebody that's connected to you on your first, your second, your third level. Go back and pick up the phone. Man, listen, I, I'm sorry. If I, like, and authentically, like if you're not sorry, then don't do it because it's fake and then it's going to be weird. But if I, most, like, listen, I don't offend anyone on purpose. I, now, here's the thing. I never offend anyone on purpose. Ever, ever, ever. I offend people, though. <laughs> I do. I'm not perfect. Like, I, yo, I can bring some people on right now. I'm like, no, this motherfucker, right? But here's the thing. Here's the thing. I am always authentically apologetic when I feel like, even if I, even if I don't think that I agree with how they feel about what I said, it's not about that in the people's business. It's not what you say, respectfully. It's not about what you say. It's about how what you're saying is being received to the person that has been attached to you in the season. It's not about you. It's not about how right that I think I am. It's about how did my eye feel when I did what I did, when I said what I said. I can justify it all day. But am I going to go back and forth with her trying to tell her she doesn't feel how she feels? Hey, listen, you may feel how you feel. I'm, I apologize. That was not my intention. Is it that deep? Do we move forward or do we cut ties? And you can use this in your entire life. Now I just gave y'all some life lessons. Some of y'all be doing away with people way too soon. And you wonder why every, every, every season you got new friends. Every season you clicking up with new people. Every season you like, well, damn. And some people are just around for a season. That's okay. Some people are like, shit, I like having my couple friends. I get it. I get it, right? <laughs> But understand, understand really what I'm saying here. Why lose people? Why lose relationships if you don't have to? Why would I allow my aunt or Kimmy or Gary being offended by something I said, even and I really know it wasn't meant that way. I really don't dislike these people. Why would I allow that gray area to exist when it don't have to? She says her piece. He says his piece, I say my piece. Hey, are we better together or apart? Do I add value to you? Yes, yes or no? Is having Daryl Dre connected to you better or worse? Is having my eye connected to you better or worse? If it's worse, I encourage you to leave. But if, it, if it's actually better, taking the thing out of it, if it's actually better, then deal with the thing and move on. Now, go going back a little bit. I 
I told you I was a little pissed off about this G5 thing. I don't know why. I just don't like losing. And even though we had, I think, three people on there, or two, three, I don't even know. I was disappointed. I challenge every single person on this call, do me a favor. Because I know indirectly or directly, I've done something. I've said something at least once to positively affect y'all life. Do me a favor in G5, please. Just, just do it for the culture. Just do it for the vibe. Just do it for me. Do it for your kids. Do it for something, please. Because I, I don't like what I just seen. I don't like it. Now let's make a pack <laughs> together as a team to get G5. Let me see our pinkies. Let's make a pack. Yeah. Get G5. If not for the money, for what it will make of you. Things in motion continue in motion. Things that are still typically stay still. So if it takes for you to do me a favor, your coach, do me a favor and go G5 next week and watch what happens. Do me a favor and don't be the only person in California at the Vibes Retreat, July 7th, 16th and 17th. Don't be there by yourself. Do me that favor and at least bring one person that needs to experience that next level. Because everything about that weekend is next level. Everything about that weekend is going to be unfamiliar. Everything about that weekend can be exactly what you need to go to the next level. Oklahoma, Ira, Michigan. Or is uh, uh, um, Ada, Oklahoma. Ada, Oklahoma, maybe 2010. I was at this event. And I don't remember every single speaker, but it was Tracy Brighton, it was Darnell Self, it was Mike Humes, and Jesse McPherson. And I remember being in the nosebleed seat at this event. And I remember rest in peace, Miss Michelle Savage. She paid for my ticket. She paid for my ticket to attend this event because my girlfriend at the time didn't have uh, 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 her financial aid check. I was hardcore network marketing. I was broke as shit, but I knew that one day I was gonna make it, but I didn't have any money. So I had to borrow money from my upline. And those of y'all that know me, I got this thing where I don't really like, like, if I ask you for your help and you get a little shifty, I'm just gonna be like, don't even worry about it. Cause I, it's just something about me. I don't like that type of stuff, right? But I asked her for help. I think she paid around 350 bucks, roughly. Cause I took a bus from San Bernardino, California to uh, uh, Ada, Oklahoma. That's right, a bus, somebody like a bus. Yeah, it was a bus. Cause the, the flight was out of it. it was, don't we worry about the flight, right? So I'm on the bus. Right. And I took, I made sure that one other person came with me. See, they had the money. I brought Emilio, my best friend at the time, Emilio was there. He brought one of his, one of his people, Ruby. Ruby brought Daniel. Daniel brought Tawana. So it was like six of us in two hotel rooms. I cannot make this up. I wish I could get my friend Ruby on this call. And I was there and we were there and we had our notebooks and we was in the nobleed stage section. And I remember seeing Darnell Self walk across the stage with his kids and his wife. And he was just excited. He was talking about how he used to work at the, at the, at the Foot Locker. And then he borrowed $1,500 or $150, excuse me, from Tracy to be able to uh, uh, join prepaid legal at the time. And now he's a multi, multi, multi million dollar earner. And I remember that nothing that he said was new. I'd heard it before. Nothing that Tracy said was new. Nothing that Mike Hume said was new. It was the way they said it. It was who I was at that time when I received it because when I heard it too early, I was not in a place mentally to receive it. So I did not hear it. 
So I go to this event and I'm watching Darnell, I'm watching his delivery, I'm watching his suit, I'm watching how he sits, I'm watching how he drinks his water, I'm watching how people are crowded around him as he's walking through the convention, asking for pictures, I'm watching how he's treating people and I'm taking mental notes because one day, one day I believe that I'd be able to walk in those shoes. But it took for me to attend that event for me to believe again. It took for me to attend that event and see another guy that looked like me rocking the stage in front of 20,000 people for me to know that I could do network marketing. That's not something I could have captured from a live. That's not something that I could have captured from a virtual ticket. They didn't even exist back then, but a virtual ticket. You had, I, I, I had to have been there. I had to be there with them. I had to cry when they were crying. I had to dance when they were dancing. I had to smile when they were smiling. I had to get up and yell when they were getting up and yelling. I had to celebrate. I had to watch the people go across the stage. I had to envision myself up there. Fast forward, Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm being recognized as the youngest six-figure earner, the youngest six-figure earner ever in an 80 year old company, the first six figure earner to earn my ring at 18. What are we talking about? But first I had to see it 18 and a half for the critical people, right? I had to see it. You go to that corporate office still today, I kid you not, unless they change something, I'm still up there as one of the freaking Hall of Famers. I just never talk about it because that company still exists, right? But I don't care because what's for us is for us. So moving on, because I don't want to sound like I'm preaching, but I want y'all, I want to really drive home that I would hate because the people that are supposed to be there are going to be there. But I know there's about three or four three or four people that's on the edge that that's really the next global that's really the next ambassador that's sitting there thinking like i don't know if i should go even though i just gave you this whole spiel i understand that and so i'm really talking to you because i don't want for this event to happen and you try to get little bits and pieces from this person's story and that person's story and this is the event that could have changed your life but instead this was the event that made you feel like you had no place because now everybody from this event went off and now they're on fire and now you're having a complex. Now you're feeling that, that, that you're, you're not in place because now Kimmy goes ambassador and Tiana goes ambassador and Stella goes ambassador. And now all this stuff is happening around you. And now you're feeling a little weird. See, when everybody's on the same level, nobody's tripping. But let some people start ranking up around you. Let some people start cashing hundred thousand, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars checks, and y'all was both at executive director at the same time. Let let somebody that that you look to your left, you look to their right, and both of y'all are regional, but because that person went off and went to that event and, and applied the information, they go ambassador and earn a million dollars in twelve months, and let that happen and watch what it, see, see when that type of stuff happens, it either promotes you or it exposes you, and nobody likes being exposed. You're going to quit. You're going to go inactive. You're going to make excuses. Oh, yeah, I, I didn't. Yeah, yo, uh, I know Kimmy went a bastard, but I didn't do it because, right, we get it. I want you to look back at this event and be like, I knew it. When Drake was talking about that event seven, six months, uh, six weeks prior, I knew I had to be at that event. My assignment for every single person on this call today, as we come to a close, my assignment, number one, get G5 qualified. Get G5 qualified next week. This week, actually. Well, next week, Friday. Number two, Pre-register for the event. Send the link out for pre-registration to 10 people. That's your homework tonight. 
Most of you all on this call have recruited at, at least five people, organizationally, if not personally. A lot of you all have recruited dozens of people. A lot of you all have recruited hundreds of people. Go pre-register and send that link out to your team and say, stop what you're doing and pre-register. Even if you don't know 100% that you're going for whatever weird reason, pre-register. Because you never know. I'm excited, y'all, to really see who's going to be a part of this next wave. The company never really changes, the people do. The ranks, the money, the stories never really change, the faces do. And so I'm ex I, I really am excited to see who is ready. I'm really excited to see who is willing. I'm really excited to see who is preparing themselves to be next. Some of you all, I don't even talk to. Some of you all, your upline, your sponsor has not even spoken to you in weeks. Pick up the phone and let them know, hey, coach, I'm tapped in. Tiana, I know I've been out of communication with you, but I'm here, coach. Kimmy, I know, I, I know I've been out of communication with you, but I, I know that you're in alignment with Drake. I'm here, coach. How can I serve you? What can I do? Because I'm telling you this, the people that are really connected to me, not fake connected to me, the people that are really connected to me, the people that I'm really going to be talking to, the people that are really contributing to this next level, I guarantee you, I guarantee you, I will have a new wave of six and seven figure earners and these people will shock you. It's going to be the person that was in the back of the room. It's going to be the person that was just hosting. It's going to be the person that was selling their shirts at the events. It's going to be the people that you least expect, but because... They were connected and they were paying attention. They got in the way of money because they applied what they learned. They realized that, oh, my God, this is working. There's no secret sauce with Drake, with Stormy, what all these people have been saying the whole time actually works. So listen, I'm about to go get me something to eat. I got my next session of working out to do. And, um, and that's another thing. I want to see some of y'all posting some workout, but now I ain't trying to get all, you know, if, you know, person start posting two workout videos and they think they all that. I ain't trying to say that. I'm just simply saying, I'm really having a good time y'all working out and I would love to see more of y'all <laughs> working out with me, man, making it fun. Um, I'm just in a new space in my life right now that, you know, I, I just, I got the right people around me. I got the focus. I, my, my level of belief is at an all time high. And I, I, you know, I, I'm just ready for the next level. And honestly, I only want to be, I only want to be, I only want to be connected to the people that truly desire to be connected to me. I only want to be connected to the people that truly understand that this is business and we are better together than apart. And so I know some of you guys have organizations that were not on this call tonight. I realize we had some issues with some logging in and all that. Do your best to share this information with them tonight. Each and every person, please pay attention. Please, I know the chats can get crazy. I understand that. But please pay attention to your culture stories. Pay attention to the chats. Bobby, I see you, bro. Bobby Moore, what's up, what's up, what's up? Pay attention to the chats because we're going to be dropping the link here in the next 15 minutes. So just at least for the next 15 minutes, pay attention, turn your notifications on because honestly, we only could fit about 300 people at this event. This is not a sales tactic. This is not a period, 300 people. That's it. California is not playing and it's really like 250. All right. So at least pre-register. So that way that can almost guarantee you a ticket. All right. So anyways, I love y'all.